Hi, Angie Space Kids! Today, let's learn about changes in materials which are useful and which are harmful to our environment. Learning Objectives At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify changes in the materials that are useful and harmful to the environment. Day 1 What do you think will happen when wood burns? How about burning of waste materials? Let's watch a short video about burning waste materials in the dump site. Burning waste materials in dump sites releases harmful smoke that can cause cough, asthma, and lung infections. It also pollutes the air and harms the environment. In the Philippines, burning garbage is against the law. Under Republic Act 9003 or the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act, burning trash is prohibited. Violators can be fined from 300 to 1,000 pesos or be required to clean the area. Let's follow the law, dispose of our waste properly, and keep our community healthy and our environment clean. Have you observed some materials which change after burning? What are the negative or harmful effects of burning of waste materials on your health and the environment? How do changes in materials affect the environment? Cycles of nature are disrupted due to the different human activities like burning of waste, dumping of waste materials in the river, and the like. Materials that you see around have their own chemical properties. These properties determine how they behave and what they can turn into when they get exposed to different conditions such as changes in temperature. One of the most remarkable changes happens when certain materials are burned. For example, when you burned wood or coal, ashes and gases are formed. Numerous human activities such as overpopulation, pollution, the burning of fossil fuels, and deforestation have an adverse effect on the physical environment. Climate change, soil erosion, poor air quality, and undrinkable water have all been brought on by changes like this. These unfavorable effects may influence human behavior and lead to large-scale migrations or conflicts over access to clean water. The phrase air pollution is very general and covers a wide range of chemical and airborne particles. These pollutants can originate from many different places such as automobiles, factories, power plants, and even open fires. Burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas is the main source of air pollution. These substances emit dangerous compounds into the air when they are burned, such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and sulfur dioxide. 
lead, ground level ozone, and particulate matter which are microscopic bits of solids in the air such soot and dirt are some other air pollutants. These gases and pollutants can harm people's health in many ways, including heart disease and a number of respiratory conditions like asthma, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. What can you say about the picture? What makes the area polluted? What happens if the activities will be done continuously? Some human activities bring negative impact or changes in the environment. Some changes in the materials are useful or harmful to the environment. Changes are harmful if they cause pollution to the water, land, and air. Large forest areas have been carelessly destroyed through deforestation. Deforestation causes the downgrading of our natural environment. This downgrading of our environment leads to the destruction of wildlife, occurrence of destructive floods, massive soil erosion, incidence of devastating drought, and global warming. Some of the useful changes in materials are as follows. Cutting cloth into handkerchiefs makes pieces of cloth useful for personal hygiene. Cutting fabric into cloths provides us with cloths to wear for protection and comfort. Cutting and shaping wood into chairs turns wood into furniture we can sit on and use at home or school. Changing wood into charcoal produces charcoal for cooking food. Changes that damage health, environment, or both. Burning old tires and plastic trash. It releases toxic smoke and harmful chemicals into the air. Throwing kerosene and detergents into sewage. It pollutes rivers, kills fish, and harms people who use the water. Now kids, let's check what you learned. Write yes if the given situations have a good effect in our environment and no if not. Nagustuhan ninyo ang video ito, huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-subscribe, at i-share ito sa inyong mga kaibigan. Kita-kits ulit sa...